the Bradley Terry model is the probability model that can predict the outcome of a comparison. Now, I'd never heard of this, but it was uh, mentioned to me by a YouTube viewer. So I thought I'd have a look. In particular, in the context of tennis. So first of all, I just wanted to look up what it was. So good old Wikipedia came to the rescue. The Bradley Terry model can then can then be used to derive a full ranking. So it's not just for, you know, looking at sports teams or, or something, but it can be used all over the place. So real world applications of the model include estimation of the influence of statistical journals, of ranking documents by relevance, in machine learned um, search engines, so it's it's quite a general thing, which is handy. Formally, it computes a maximum likelihood estimate. It maximizes the likelihood of the observed data. So. Um, in I would have used it when you're trying to estimate the parameters so if you know that something came from a certain distribution and you want to figure out uh, what the value of the parameters of the distribution were then this gives you the most kind of accurate estimate so what does that mean mean for us here well the idea is that I want to predict who's going to win uh, a game of tennis I myself am more interested in football that that's where I've done more work so for me I'd like to uh, use the Bradley Terry model to kind of rank the football teams. So as uh, games are being played, uh, say in the English, League, English Premier League, I'd like to get a probabilistic ranking of how good the various teams are. And that will be adjusted every week. So when we get the new set of results, like kind of like the ELO ranking, I can just feed in the results so whatever happened say for last weekend and the team's rankings all get adjusted accordingly and then I'd like to be able to work out what the probability that team A is going to be team B is and then I can compare that to what the odds are at the bookies and then I can look for value. That, 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 that's basically the game plan likewise I'm going to apply it to look at the tennis because that's the other problem of interest so uh, again like the ELO rating I'd like to be able to look at two players and then say oh this guy is going to win and I think the probability of him winning is going to be 80% and then I can look at the probability and go, I mean, at the bookies' odds and kind of go, ooh, that seems not to match with my estimate, not to match with my model. In fact, I just typed in te tennis Bradley Terry, and we can see there's quite a bit of work on that. So a Bradley Terry type model for forecasting tennis, another Bradley Terry for forecasting tennis. So uh, they seem to have 
been some work done applying Bradley Terry to tennis, we can look that up and see whether you know it did well. So, and basically, if we see that Bradley Terry has tended to do very well, if that does better than the ELO rating, well, then it's great because then we'll know what Bradley Terry is telling us while others won't. And so we'll be able to estimate what the real probabilities are better. And so we'll be able to bet better. I also just looked up Bradley, when I looked up Bradley Terry, uh, this came up, like there was stuff in R, Bradley Terry models in R, the Bradley Terry 2 package. That's great, because that means that I won't have to do any work, that somebody else has already coded in the Bradley Terry model into R. So then all I'm going to have to do is you know, type in the commands from the package and it'll do all the work. So then that makes it interesting for me because the cost benefit changes. That means I'm not going to be wa spending, I was about to say wasting any time or, or very little time I'm going to I'm going to just be able to use this package and see how it does. And the immediate things that sprung to mind was well I can apply this to football and that will add another viewpoint, another analysis which my machine learning system will be able to take into account. So maybe it will turn out that Bradley Terry is ignored that my other methods do better that the Poisson model can estimate uh, who's going to win better than Bradley Terry but I can't tell in advance so since I'm not going to have to do much work myself I'll just be able to find out and that's worth that's worthwhile for me to do and likewise I want to then look at the tennis because we, we got the tennis uh, data in one of the previous videos, you know, people have loaded that all up, loaded all of that up. So, you know, again, I don't have to do any work. I just go load tennis, basically. And then my R system knows uh, all the tennis results. And then I can apply Bradley Terry and hey presto. So that is basically the game plan. In this video, I just wanted to introduce Bradley Terry, and we can see, you know, I've I've loaded, I've installed Bradley Terry into my R Studio, and then I can just you know load it up, and and I'm good to go. And even with a quick look, it turns out that um, five years worth of English Premier League data has already been loaded into the system. So that means, you know, I, I can just play around with that without having to do m maybe even any work. So that's, I'm gonna do three videos on Bradley Terry off the top of my head now and maybe uh, some, something else will come up but I that's the game plan I'll look at football next with the uh, data that's already within Bradley Terry and see you know how well does it do I mean is it able to uh, predict who's gonna win down the line though I'm I probably won't make a video about it, but I, I will include that data into my machine learning system and then see whether, you know, that it, that improves the whole machine learning algorithm. Like, is Bradley Terry one of the better models? Does, does it add more information? We'll see. And finally, I'll look at the, I'll do a third video 
this time looking at the tennis and see how that does. <laughs>